Okay, so this exercise is called the aqua bag swing squat. So I really like this exercise because it works all the hip hinge movements of the posterior chain when we're doing our swing, but you're also going to hit the quads quite hard as well when you're doing the squat movement. So it's a great leg builder. So remember, anytime we're going through the legs, we have our feet round about shoulder width apart. Okay, so when we're setting up, toes are pointing forward. Just keep a nice neutral spine. Abs are nice and tight as well. Keep the core braced. Okay, so we're going to go two hands through the handles there when we're setting up. When we're doing this grip, there's two ways we can go through the legs. We can go through horizontally or we can go vertically. Okay, personally, I like to go through vertically. I just find you've got a little bit more room. So with that hip hinge position, when we're setting up, we're just going to hike that bag back. So we're setting it up here. Nice neutral spine. You're going to have one long arm, which is the top hand, hand and then the short hand is going to be on the bottom side, okay? So from here, we're going to drag that bag back in between the legs, trying to get that bottom arm to make contact with the legs on the way through. And then we're going to drive through on the hips. And then at the top, we're going to drop down into a squat and then catch the bag, okay? So I'll do a few reps to show you what that looks like. So from here, setting up with the bag about 10 to 12 inches in front. So shoulders are down and packed down, elbows are locked out. And then from there, I'm going to bring that bag back. So as you can probably hear, you can hear the water sloshing around. So this is what makes the aqua bag so interesting. It's always moving around. So you've really got to use those stabilizing muscles to fire up to control, stabilize and move that weight as you're swinging around that bag, okay? So that's your aqua bag swing squat.